For those of you who've been following this news saga, yes, Elon Musk is finally deciding to sue OpenAI. The reason why I say he finally did it is because this has been brewing for quite a long time. I usually wouldn't be super interested in covering something like a lawsuit because it feels a little bit gossipy, but I think it's important to talk about because it may have very huge ramifications for the AI community as a whole. Also, the saga is fascinating with people trying to take various positions to gain sympathy, but there's really three main parts, which is the first being Elon Musk's relationship with Larry Page, who is the co-founder of Google. The second part of this story is Sam Altman's temporary firing for four days from OpenAI that happened, I think, late last year. And third is the structure of OpenAI as a company. To properly start this story, we first need to talk about his relationship with Larry Page. Many years ago, prior to the start of OpenAI, Larry and Elon were buddies. They're just two billionaires who have dinner at yachts. Uh, they even have parties in Puerto Rico to talk about where AI safety as well as AI is going forward. And basically what happens is, as Elon Musk would describe, one night they were talking about AI safety and Elon Musk portrays Larry as somebody who doesn't care about AI safety at all. And you can see it from his various interviews talking about that. And Larry did not care about AI safety, or at least at the time he didn't. It's hard to say who's right, but the main point is there is a huge divide towards what Elon Musk feels is important for AI safety and what Larry Page believes is important for AI safety. It's also hard to categorize if Larry is taking more of a open stance towards developing AI, but the gist of it is, is that they have a huge disagreement about how to project AI safety moving forward. Generally, when you have a disagreement between people, <laughs> if you're just like normal friends, probably it ends at this conversation. But because of this disagreement, Elon Musk has this belief that it's dangerous for Google to own all of the AI talent. So. As a result, Elon Musk, as well as a consortium of other people, including Sam Altman, which will be important later on, they decide to create a new AI company called OpenAI. In fact, Elon Musk himself pledges over $50 million into this endeavor. This is a picture of Jason Huang, who is the founder of NVIDIA, opening the first supercomputer for OpenAI, and Elon Musk is in this picture as well. So he's been a part of it from day one, and essentially, at its formation, OpenAI Inc. is a non-profit company only. Their goal is essentially to create safe and beneficial AI for all. Elon Musk hires Ilya, who is one of the top engineers for AI research at Google. Now, remember him as the story goes on, because he has an important role to play for Sam Altman's firing. But this is what causes the divide between Larry and Elon. So part one of this story is essentially the billionaire's fight. They disagree on AI safety. Elon Musk starts a new company to act as a counterbalance for Google DeepMind. He also hires away Ilya, who is a super important engineer for Google DeepMind. This causes a divide between Larry and Elon. Their friendship ends as a result of this conflict. So friendship ended between Elon Musk and, and Larry. What a shame between two billionaires that such a conflict would cause such a divide between them. But many years go by and ChatGPT comes out in 2022. Sam Altman get, suddenly gets fired last year and Elon Musk wants to know why. So what ends up happening? It turns out that after a couple of years with an open AI, it seems that something has caused Elon Musk to, uh, to leave. And it, speculation in terms of why Elon Musk leaves OpenAI, which I think gets elucidated basically after the $50 million that Elon Musk gives, he kind of pulls that investment away and Microsoft becomes the strategic partner for OpenAI. However, this all culminates into a situation where Sam Altman gets mysteriously fired around the end of 2023. People who have been following this know there's a huge controversy there. He gets fired. Then four days later, he returns. The board has a huge emergency meeting, which talks about reinstating Sam. Then finally, Sam gets reinstated as CEO. Entire board gets disbanded and it gets replaced with a board that really doesn't know much about AI. So it seems like now Sam has a much stronger wrestle hold on control for open AI. The thing is, this entire saga happens, and nobody at this point knows why Sam Elman got fired. Elon Musk wants to know why. Nobody else outside of OpenAI knows why. However, there are some theories. 
which leads me to part three. Part three is throughout this entire time, the structure of OpenAI has completely deviated from its mission. So originally, the intention from the co-founders was to promote AI safety and to do something that was a counterbalance of what Larry Page was doing at Google DeepMind. However, what ended up happening is OpenAI is now technically closed for profit AI. What they ended up doing was OpenAI was originally registered in Delaware and I wanna make sure that I am getting the facts right. Right, so on the Wikipedia page, it says OpenAI was founded in December, 2015. And the organization originally consisted of the nonprofit OpenAI Inc. only registered in Delaware. But then somewhere between 2015 to now when ChatGPT was released, they created a for-profit subsidiary called OpenAI Global. So for some reason, you can go from nonprofit to for-profit. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but you can create a subsidiary that is for profit, which kind of deviates from their original mission of creating something that's open source as well as promoting AI safety. So this for-profit company got a 1 billion investment in 2019 and a $10 billion investment in 2023 from Microsoft. And this is about the time where Elon gets extremely upset about this whole situation. So first of all, his strategic investment got pulled away. Microsoft becomes the main strategic partner of OpenAI. Also, the original intention of having OpenAI be a counterweight to Google DeepMind doesn't seem like it's happened now because it's now a completely for profit subsidiary. They don't actually share any of their code in terms of how they're controlling the weights for their machine learning models. Also, Sam Altman got mysteriously fired. So what was an original intention of having some nonprofit counterweight to what Google DeepMind was doing that promoted a lot of AI safety is now something that is completely, completely different. This culminates with Elon Musk finally launching this lawsuit in March 1st, 2024, where he says that OpenAI has deviated from their original nonprofit mission to something for profit. Now I have some new updates that has changed the story a lot more. So if you're looking at OpenAI's response to Elon Musk, they say that what they ended up realizing was that AGI would require far more resources than they initially imagined. Elon said that he would give the 1 billion funding to OpenAI, but it turns out he only invested $45 million and basically they had to get the strategic funding from Microsoft. Also say that Elon had already recognized that they needed to be a for-profit entity. So this is in difference to what Elon has been saying through his interviews, saying that he wanted it to be non-profit uh, for the longest time and that was his main issue. In addition, OpenAI is saying that they still have this mission of building widely beneficial tools, but they are keeping the whole AI vision closed and they feel like keeping it closed is the right way of doing it and keeping it as safe as possible. And they back this up by saying it in a couple of, by using a couple of emails to justify that Elon Musk always knew that they were gonna be for profit. For one, they say that Elon Musk understood the mission did not imply open sourcing AGI. As Ilya told Elon, as we get closer to building AI, it would make sense to start being less open. The open in open AI means that everyone should benefit from the fruits of AI after it's built, but it's totally okay not to share the science. To which Elon replies, yup. And it seems like the whole idea of having it open was to attract additional talent. If you look at these emails below, what Ilya is saying that it's totally okay not to share the science, even though sharing everything is definitely the right strategy in the short and possibly medium term for recruitment pur purposes. So this story is fantastic. You've got a battle between billionaires. You have a sudden firing of Sam Altman. You have Microsoft taking advantage of the situation. Tesla is now trying to build their own AI systems and Elon Musk has completely deviated away from what OpenAI is currently doing. Billionaires have interesting fights. And my prediction is that um, we haven't seen the end of this lawsuit. There's probably gonna be new facts that come out. They might even get sued by other companies for potentially violating sort of data usage on the internet. For example, maybe Disney or some of the video companies might decide to sue some of these AI companies for perhaps infringing on their data. I just wanted to share this with everyone. I'd love to hear what everyone's opinions are about who's right in this scenario or if none of these people are right and what you think this impact is for AI going forward.